Across the world, more than 1 billion people live in coastal areas that are less than 10 metres above sea level. Many of these areas are in small island developing states and least developed countries. Coastal inundation, which occurs when water causes the flooding of coastal areas, is putting these communities at risk. Coastal inundation is caused by a combination of many natural hazards. These include storm surge, when strong winds push water towards the shore, along with waves, high tides and flooding from rivers that flow into the sea. Climate change is intensifying all these hazards, making coastal inundation worse. To protect the most vulnerable communities, the UN Secretary General is driving the Early Warnings for All initiative. As part of this, the World Meteorological Organization, WMO, has completed a set of practical guidelines to help countries work together with donors to implement early warning systems for coastal inundation based on tried and trusted early warning systems already operating in some parts of the world. The guidelines offer 10 simple steps countries can use to establish their own coastal inundation forecasting early warning system. Broadly speaking, the 10 steps include 1. Identifying hazards and risks 2. Getting all the relevant stakeholders together 3. Assessing country and regional needs 4. Developing effective communication systems to the last mile 5. Engaging with donors and sponsors 6. Establishing all parts of this early warning system 7. Building the system through a project structure 8. Testing the system 9. Providing training to staff and the public and 10. Going live The 10 steps follow a multi-hazard approach focusing on meteorological, hydrological and oceanographic hazards they enable interaction between a country's national meteorological and hydrological services and other agencies, such as emergency services, ports, fisheries and tourism, who all have a role to play to reduce the impacts of coastal inundation hazards. As many countries have limited staff and funding to rapidly implement this special early warning system, these steps can help them bring together other stakeholders, experts and resources, while also providing guidance on how to engage with donors and sponsors and with WMO and its team of experts. By setting up strong early warning systems, countries can ensure they are better prepared for coastal inundation, saving lives and livelihoods.